Hey, 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 everyone. Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl, Precious Williams, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster. I'm your proud host, Precious Williams, and I couldn't be more delighted to be with you all today. And so, sorry yet. One of the things we're going to talk about today is getting paid to speak. Is it really that hard? Now, why is this such a, a big topic right now? Well, the truth of the matter is, oh, how about this? Why should y'all even listen to me? Why are y'all even here for the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show? The truth of the matter is, I'm a 13-time national elevator pitch champion. I am a corporate trainer for some of the biggest tech companies and financial services companies in the world. I'm an international professional keynote speaker. I am a three-time number one best-selling author of the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches series. I love to embrace difference and to share with you all that one of the hardest things for people to accept is not every speaker has to look and sound alike, right? And so every time y'all see me every week, don't I look different? It's a different hairstyle, a different wig, a different flow and everything. So today I felt like coming to you all bright and sunny because that's how I feel. And over the past week, you know, I spoke eight times, four times on International Women's Day. And I was very pleased about that. And one of the things that people don't tell you about speaking is when you give your all, it can be exhausting because I give my all every time I'm on stage or every time I'm speaking virtually, you know, but what is so good, I have to tell you, I was so good when you're paid to speak, right? And, or they're buying uh, your products and services at the back of the room, or you're finding ways to monetize situations that you're asked to speak at. And so the reason why I want to come up with this particular topic, getting paid to speak, is it really that hard? The truth is most people don't know how to get paid to speak. Some people are new and so they expect to get paid right out of the gate, but they don't know their craft well enough. And so today I want to explore uh, five to six reasons why it's really difficult to get paid to speak. And I don't mean just the speaker fee. I mean, what if you're not allowed to sell from the stage? You get paid, but you're not paid. You're not you're not able to sell from the stage. Well, how do you do certain things like seating from the front of the room to make sure that people meet you at the actual event and want to purchase what you want to sell or your offer? And so, as an international professional speaker, as a keynote speaker, as a corporate trainer. I had to rebuild my speaking craft and invest in it in a totally different way. One of the greatest things I learned is I hope that when you all come to the Keep It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show, where we offer no fluff, no bull, no BS, that you truly understand how, how to really become a professional speaker, one who's paid. Doctor, The great Dr. Sherwood Wood always talks about the difference between a public speaker is you don't get paid and a professional speaker gets paid for their services. So whether you're getting a hundred dollars or millions of dollars, I want you to think about what type of speaker do you want to be? Do you want to be public or do you want to be professional? And so I know we already have people watching right now. And so in the comments, I'd love for you to put your name, the name of your company or, you know, what type of speaker you are. And are you getting more free and exposure speaking engagements or paid speaking engagements? The reason why I ask these questions is because I really want to know who's in the room. And if you're an entrepreneur, you can totally build your business by utilizing speaking. I've been speaking for so long. I've been speaking for 27 years. I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. And when I was 16, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know. And I was getting paid, you know, listen, and I was getting paid and I was eating rubber chicken, rubber steak, rubber fish dinners, you know, at, at great places, speaking before the governor and the mayor of the city of St. Louis and the governor of Missouri twice, two different governors. So think about that. I've been speaking for a very long time. And so I'm not going to come to you with the fluff and the BS. I want to teach y'all the real tea on, on speaking and how to get paid. And also, I don't want to see you all accept all of these free speaking gigs or exposure speaking gigs and it really not lead anywhere. So I want to talk about some things today. So if you're ready, make sure you put things in the comments. I want to know if what I'm saying is resonating with you. Why did you even come today? So again, to my esteemed guests, you know, I always come for you. I always want you to know how important you are to me. I address every comment because I want you to know I care. You could be so many different places on a Sunday and yet you're here with the killer pitch master. And again, welcome to the killer welcome to the keeping it real with the killer pitch master show and i want you to know that i am so honored like there's so many things that i get to do 
So I spoke for eight times this week, right? And I was also dealing with grief. And there was a time when I was so on showing people how perfect life was. Well, I want to show you what the reality of speaking is. As a professional speaker, it's not always easy. What if the what the what what if technical difficulties happen? How do you handle that? And so that's why I created the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp. Now I know there's a lot of people who will teach you about speaking, but I'm gonna get to you how to find the foundational part of speaking. So even if I'm not around, you know how to keep your funnels full, and I mean your speaker funnel, right? How to keep people interested in what you're doing. How What should you be posting on social media to truly establish yourself as an expert? How do you utilize testimonials in a way you've never thought before? We all know that LinkedIn can work, but how do you get it to work for you? So we're going to talk about a little bit of that today, but I'm ha- I'm hosting the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp this Saturday on March 19th. And I'll put the link below so that you can you know look at it and see if it's, it's for you. There are a series of three different boot camps, but the first one is, you know, setting the foundation. And if you like that, then we'll go on to two and three. But I definitely want you all to take advantage of the Booked and Busy Speakers master, um, boot camp. Why? I remember walking out of the darkest point of my life, and here I'm in been booked by Viacom and Saturday Night Live, all these other great things. But remember, I'm supposed to be homeless and a former addict. So if I can do that and show others, I mean, there are women and men who are on here who are like, I just need to know how to do it and understand it's a process. But when you start to put all these things together, that's why I want your foundation to be solid. I don't want you to go out there, get a big speaking gig and don't have anything else for two years. So this is a process. This is a strategy step by step, because I need you to be firing on different cylinders. You may have an audience over here. You get so good. Others want to pull you over here. What are you talking about on social media? And even if you aren't big on social media, where is your audience? And really knowing that, right? And then there's also this thing of, you think you know the industry you're supposed to be in, but I'm pretty sure I know better, right? Who would ever think that someone without a tech degree is at Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Federal Reserve? Who would think that? I don't have that degree, but I'm also a communication skills expert, which means that I do more than pitching. I do sales, uh, sales training, sales scripting, you know, and so think about that, y'all. So I want you to put in the comments, what made you come here today? Your name, if you have your own company or what do you hope to learn, you know, possibly in a booked and busy speakers boot camp. And so again, the name of this episode is getting paid to speak. Is it really that hard? So let me um put that in the comment and uh, put that in the thing for you so that you can see okay hold on i know i put it here i don't know where here we are and i'm going to talk a little bit about that but i want to talk about the five or six things that i think you all need to know about why it seems like it's hard right again put put all of that in the comments and again as you see below if you go to bookedandbusyspeakers.com backslash boot camp you can find out more about the boot camp that I'm leading for three hours, maybe even four hours this Saturday. I suggest y'all get up, on, get down on it. And let me see what my, my team guests are saying. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get Facebook user, please tell me your name. Hello, hello, how are you? LinkedIn user, run those retreats. L- listen. Run me my money and run me my fade. That's what Apple Watch said and love and hip hop. Run me my money and run me my fade. What she really said, I, listen, I got bars and I got testimonials. So it's not just that I'm saying it, right? So you, if you look at my LinkedIn uh, testimonials, I think I have a little over 200 now. Look at the companies, corporations, foundations, and nonprofits that I speak at. Look to the, the entrepreneurs and the speakers who work with me. These are individuals. And you're going to see something that's going to blow your mind. As great as I am with big companies, if I did not start working with entrepreneurs and speakers, those big companies wouldn't have given me the time of day. In fact, just this past uh, Friday, I spoke at the Dress for Success conference. You know, it's a keynote. Do y'all know five minutes before I went on stage, like I had this whole thing in my mind, I was going to speak about the warrior within. I had told them that's what I'm going to speak on. Five minutes before I go on live, on camera, live. I changed up the whole speech. God had got, got down. The, nope, we're not doing that. And I talked about owning the good, the bad, and the ugly of you. And you're like, why would you even do that? Because that's what God told me to do. I noticed that the woman who spoke before me was talking about authenticity. And I love what she was saying. But I am not 
going to come behind someone and just and, and sound like I'm doing the same thing. And so as a speaker, one of the greatest lessons that I have learned is if so many people are saying this, I have to be different. So I'm not going to follow someone and say this, basically the same thing. So I want to talk about, you know, as great as we can talk about authenticity until you own the good, the bad and the ugly of you. You're not going to bring your all to the table. When I show up, y'all know I show out. I mean, I got a new wig on today. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. So if you can change it up five minutes before and go ham live. I remember Dr. Kim Iozzi and the president were sitting there looking at me, right? And, and right, the producers never told me. Like, I knew I had like 30 minutes. Y'all, as a killer pitch master, there became a moment I was like, they haven't told me to stop or three minutes. Of, and I just knew, stop now. And I stopped. Turn to my queens, Dr. Kim Iozzi and the president, and we were just talking. And when I tell you, questions started coming in. It was so fast and so furious. And it wasn't on my phone. It was on their phones because people were, and then do you know my LinkedIn was popping? It was popping. People from different organizations, companies were reaching out. Hey, I really love what you said. Um, do you do this one-on-one? -on -one? Like, think about that, y'all. I literally changed it five minutes before I got on camera. That so when I tell you about the foundation, you want to do with somebody who's not like someone who always needs to be um, doing what everybody else does. Yes, I practice. I practice. But I also am in the spirit. Sometimes God will dial in and say, hey, this is the message they need to hear now. You don't need to go behind this person and say what they say. But that comes with being a professional speaker for 27 years. I can switch up on a dime. And thank God people trust me enough in the moment. If that's where she going to go, let her go. So man, let me see what my people run those restraints. Run me my money and run me my fade. Hey, there go my girl. That's my queen, Tina. Wiz. Okay, I see you, legend, gorgeous. You know, queen, I was trying to look cute for you. You now. Got this wig, actually, this morning. Y'all know how we do. Mm. Kimberly Ross Hollingsworth, founder of Art, Arts and Arts and Authors Extravagating Annual and Book Builders Academy. I just speak at my events currently. I understand that, Kimberly, but you know, you could be a lot of different places. Hold on, yeah, I'm just going to drink a little. Solomon, happy to see you again. Happy to see you. Glad you're here. Tina, I came because I love you and the knowledge you share. Thank you, Queen. David Griffin, David Griffin, Action Pathway Second, Har Har Second Harvest Food Bank, S-E-N-C. Pu public free speaking, nonprofit world. Got you. But David, even in the nonprofit world, there are some nonprofits that, you know, can pay you to speak. There are foundations that will pay you to speak because you're coming to the table. Like, like what I want you all to do is take the breaks off of your dreams. If you think it can't be done, then you're right for yourself. When I, I remember thinking when I started, when I started really going hard on speaking, what were the places I wanted to speak, right? And so people always tell you to do that, but you don't really believe it. I remember speaking in Halifax, Nova Scotia for International Women's Day two years ago. And I was like, I'm a black woman speaking at International Women's Day in another country. Praise God that my voice has gotten so far. And I'm going to remember to tell you a story that happened last night, right? Because it's going to go back to booked and busy. Booked and busy speakers boot camp, but also I'm not just booked and busy and paid. I'm booked and blissful now. So I want to show y'all what that really, really means. Okay. Facebook user. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you. I want to know who you are. David Griffin, trying to better my craft. You better know it. Faith Lawrence. Hey, queen nurse. I'm here to learn and hear more. I'm a nurse career coach. You better get that. Boom. George Moreau. I'm back too, Miss Precious. All right, George. Glad to have you back. Farah, founder of International Nurse Coach. I want to become a paid professional speaker. You better know that. That's why I check out the Booked and Busy Speakers Bootcamp. The link, oh, the link is below. Tina, receipts bring respect. You better talk about it. I mean, listen, I've been on Shark Tank, CNN, Wall Street Journal, Forbes Magazine. Um, I've been in movies and documentaries around the world. And, you know, for two of my books out of three to be reviewed by Forbes magazine is amazing. I'm DreamWorker Speaker of the Year 2021. Inspiration for Savvy Ladies winner in 2020. Badass Woman of the Year in 20, was it 2020? I'm looking at some of the gifts I received. Career Mastered Award. Like I, my first book is a four-time book of the year finalist, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches. So I can run them receipts. Because you can actually look them up. You know how we do. And I remember when I wrote Bad Bitches and Power Pitches, all the, the things that people said, 
So I'm going to actually tell you a story of what happened last night. Oh, I see uh, Alyssa Whitfield. I'm a Dress for Success local affiliate. Founder. Yes, I love you, Alyssa. Thank you for being here. Tina, being obedient and following the steps God has ordered brings much success. That's why you are a legend, period. Period. Thank you, Tina. Jack Bosma, podcasting. Yes, Jack. Okay, hold on. Let me Faith, yes, in the spirit, spontaneity, love it. Yes. I am King Solomon Paul. Fantastic show. I'm watching from Nigeria. Glad to have you here from Nigeria. Facebook user, I would like to speak at other locations. You better believe it. Drop that name, though, because I want to make sure I honor the name. Halifax, Canada. Okay. Canada. Okay. Go ahead, baby. I spoke in Milan, Italy. I filmed a movie in Milan. Y'all want to smoke. Linda, hello from Michigan. Hi, Linda. Glad you're here. Alyssa, I'm asked to speak often publicly. Now I want to be booked and busy. You better believe it, baby. Check out that booked and busy speakers uh, boot camp. And again, you if you want to check it out while I'm talking, go to booked and busy speakers wait, book and busy speakers.com black, backslash boot camp. I'm King, uh, King Solomon uh, Dash Paul. I'm looking forward to be paid for public speaking a- ASAP. Oh, Johan, am I saying, jo, no, Yasin, please let me know if I'm saying your name right. Greetings from Mel, Melo Farms here in Cutler, California. Thank you. Please let me know how I say your name right. I honor how people's names need to sound. Please, please don't ever think that I'm being funny. I just may not know how to say certain names. George Murrow, the sun is shining in the Lake of the Ozarks. It's beautiful. I know that's right, George. Okay. Zali, Zali, booked and blissful. Love that. Me too. Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown, content writer and consultant. You better believe it. I'm glad you're here, Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. Miracle Elijah, founder of BioKeeper, B Unity, South San Francisco, California. Got it. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to tell you a story about what happened last night, right? And again, this episode is all about uh, getting paid to speak. Is it really that hard? But I got to tell you this because this goes into what it means to be a speaker. So last night um, I went, I live, I live in Brooklyn and my uh, friend lives in Brooklyn and um, we had something scheduled to, you know, go to dinner at five yesterday. So I get to the restaurant early and, you know, I'm trying to order some lamb chops early. You know, we get them 30 minutes to get there, my Queens. And so as I came in, I sat down and, you know, I was looking cute, you know, and I sat down and I saw this mother and son, right? And they, they, you know, oh, you know, a beautiful older woman and her son, right? And uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm looking and they're looking at me. And finally, this beautiful queen says, are you famous? And I said, in certain circles, I am. What made you ask? She said, you have the look of someone who's famous. And, I, and so I told her a little about my background and she said, I knew you were famous. And she was like, oh, we need to take a picture with you. Do you know she was a former executive at one of the big publishing houses? And I told her that I had written Bad Bitches and Power Pictures. She loved the title. She said, what the other ones? I got Bad Bitches and Power Pictures, the workbook. And then Picture for Profit, the Bad Bitches Playbook to Convert Conversations to Currency. So I said, uh, she she said, well, who published it? I said, Penn Legacy. My book coach and publisher is Sharon Monet with Penn Legacy. She thought Penn Legacy was in... um, the UK. I said, no, my queen is actually in Florida. And she said, y'all were able to do all of that? I said, yeah. I said, but I'm the killer pitch master and Sharon Monet knows publishing because she's published several number one bestsellers. She, you know, used to be in the music industry. Now she writes books, publishing. Now she's really in the children's books and she's just, she's bad. And she said, well, y'all gotta be bad. I mean, she said, because you came in with so much fire. Mind you, I hadn't said anything. So I was like, wow, she thinks I look like a celebrity. So what does that have to do with booked and busy speakers um, or being a booked and busy speaker? What that tells you is when you think people aren't looking, I was just going to dinner. Yeah, I was trying to look cute for my, my girlfriends. But I had no idea that what I had on resonated with everybody in that restaurant, right? And I had gotten the shawl from my the bling queen out of Indiana. Um, and then I had on this dress that I have had for years. It's $10 that was on Flatbush Avenue. And um, I had on, you know, this right here. And you, wait a minute. Yeah, this right here, the other one fell off. And this was given to me by my queen at, at Dress for Success, right? They, literally given to me on Friday, and I decided to wear it yesterday. Uh, I decided to wear it yesterday. So what does that tell you? She said, I'm going to look for some people to introduce you to. She said, because people have to know you. She said, I, you know, I knew you were famous. And I'm just thinking, wow, 
So I didn't say anything and something about my presence stood out. So as a speaker, don't you want that too? I don't expect people to walk in getting Gucci Fendi down because I didn't have that on. I had just a cute little outfit on. But my presence spoke for myself. And that is something that you learn more in the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp. And so let me um, see the comments and then we're going to go in, okay? We're going to go ham and cheese on people. We're going to ham and cheese. Okay. I see my girl Kat. Hey, Queen Precious. I love this convo. I'm here for all the golden nuggets. But you better believe it. And Kat is with Enrich Her. If you all don't know Enrich Her, is a platform that shows you how to get grants. Um, they have like low interest loans and other um, opportunities for you. They have like this the, the financial accelerator. So you learn how to apply for the very grants in a way that resonates. Plus they have coaching. All the, listen, check out enrichher.com. Thank you, Kat. And put that in the comments too. This is Kimberly Ross Hollingsworth and I have a couple of your books. I would love to learn how learn to speak at other speaking. Hey, I don't know what the, I don't know what else it says because it, it stopped there. All right. Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. Okay. Thera, I used to live in Brooklyn. Didn't miss part. Queen, you know, I live, you know, let me not put it out there. <laughs> Carolyn Ofer Moselle, founder of Leaders Who Connect and Inspire LLC. Greetings, welcome. I'm being Baltimore in May, Queen. Okay. Okay, y'all. So let's get into it. Let's 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 get let's 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 get it popping. So here's some things I want you to think about. Now, please put in the comments. Please answer in the comments for me. For, please, wait, wait. Let me just do this comments. Okay. Please answer in the comments. Are you asked frequently to speak for free? Are you um, asked to speak for free for exposure? Or maybe there'll be a way for you to offer something, but the organization can't pay you. You can say one, yes. Let me ask you a second question. Has it ever really led to real business for your, your speaking brand, for your books, your brand, your business, your products or services? Now, I want to just address this issue because in the beginning, that makes sense. You're, you're building on your craft. There's a lot of us who want to run out and start speaking, get paid and totally crash and burn. And nobody wants to hire you because you really can't deliver, right? But as you start to develop in your craft, you've invested in your craft, you've gotten better and better. You can't really entertain those anymore. But how do you know how to gauge where you should be speaking or if it matters? So like people will tell you, you if you can speak for free, if the right people in the audience, well, for most of us, we don't know who the right people are. You might think it's always oh, high net worth individuals. No, there's a different way of looking at who the right people in the room are, right? So here's some things I want you to think about, right? And I think this is very important. And we go over this in the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp, but there's so much more that I share with you. So here we talk about it. So for those of you who are tired of just speaking for free or for exposure that never turns out to be anything or for sales that never turn out to be anything, I want to pose five different questions to you. And I want you to think about this. <clears throat> When someone wants you to speak, number one, ask yourself this and ask that person, is this the right audience for me? Why did they choose? Why, why are they looking at me? Is it the right audience for me to be in front of? And as you listen to their answer or as you start to look through what they're doing, I want you to start paying attention to who's, who comes to these events. <laughs> If it's 50 million speakers under the sun, the answer is no. Because you'll be put in the midst of all of that and nobody's listening all that time. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not a shady person. But there are certain things I just don't speak at. If it's too many speakers, I don't need to be there. Because no one's really listening anymore. If you are not put out there with some applause or something like that and you're just thrown in there, you don't need to be there. Is it the right audience? And only you know who the right audience is for you. Why did you create your business? Who is your target market? If your target market isn't there, why are you there? She might be like, oh, I want to see. I need you to get good in one target, one or two target markets before you start going everywhere. I'm, I'm here to tell you. So really think about, is that the right people that need to be in the room? 
For those of us who sell books, there are ways that you can sell books that aren't at book fairs. Wouldn't you like to know how to sell your books to big companies, corporations, foundations, and nonprofits? Big orders for books. I can show you how in the book, the Busy Speakers Bootcamp. But that tells you there's so much more to speaking than just you speaking. So much more than you preparing. How do you get them all in a row? So number one, what is the question number one? Is the right audience in the room? Ask yourself these questions. And y'all can start answering these questions because these are these is big. Is the right audience in the room? If not, it's a stage left. Number two, if the right audience is in the room, do you have the right message for them? Do you have the right message? Is it, comp- what, what did my queen, Quinn Conyer say? Is it clear, compelling, concise? Like, is it something that's going to shake the tables? Is it something that's going to move them? Or is it your standard tried and true? I'm here to tell you, if is it your standard tried and true, the answer is no, because they're not going to be interested in someone who's going to come in with the same tired and dry energy. If the right audience is in the room, does your message match that audience? And I really want you to do a deep dive on that. Does it? I am the killer pitch master, but be above all of that, I'm a 27, I have 27 years of professional speaking excellence. So I can match different species to different audiences. But that's because I have 27 years of experience. When I started off speaking, I was speaking to politicians. As I got into my late 30s, that's when I chose big, big tech, big banks, independent banks, financial services. Because I figured they had never seen anybody like me and they all could use help in how to really speak in plain language to others to get them to buy. How do you sell without selling? See what I'm saying? And when I got really good being in those tech spaces, what do you think started to happen? Other people started booking me for things because they knew that if I could crack the code on big tech where I don't usually match what big tech people look like and I'm in their life swimwear, think about that. So number one, is it the right audience? Number two, does your if the right audience is there, does your message match that audience? Is it going to get them to do something? Is it going to get them to buy? Is it going to get them to look you up? Is it going to get them to do something? Okay. Number three, what are you known for right now? Y'all can put it in the comments. What are you known for? Because that, that also, that also goes into why somebody would even think of you. What are you known for right now? If you've never spoken What do you want to be known for? So what are you known for right now? And for those of you who haven't really started yet or you've started, but you know that there's still some some disconnect, what do you want to be known for? So let me go over that again. Number one, is it the right audience? Number two, if it's the right audience, do you have the right message? And number three, what are you known for right now? Or what do you want to be known for? So I know you're probably sitting here and you can answer those questions in the comments because these are some of the things that we go over in the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp. Because, yeah, there are people who tell you, oh, you know, just tell one story. Man, I don't know where that works at. Because if it's in the right, wrong audience, nobody cares. You have the right message in the wrong audience and it doesn't convert. If it's an entirely wrong audience, what are you there for? And I want to know from you all, how does this resonate with you all? Does it make sense, some of the things that I'm saying? And that's why it's important to have a proper foundation for what it is you want to do as a speaker. Because if you don't answer these questions correctly, or if what you're known for right now isn't good enough, then I want you to know this is why you needed the Booked and Busy Speakers Bootcamp. So I'm going to go to the comments and I'm going to come back, okay? And for those of you who need, who are new, who are who just came to here, I am Precious Williams. This is the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster Show. Our episode is on getting paid to speak. Is it really that hard? And what I just offered were three questions you need to ask yourself about speaking. And if you can't answer it or your answers are not really converting, this is why we need to have this conversation, okay? So I'm going to go, and if you want to check out the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp, that's happening this Saturday from 12 to 3, maybe even going to 4 o'clock, because I don't play when it comes to what I do. 
So go to bookedandbusyspeakers.com backslash bootcamp. Let me see what all oh, got 31. Oh, we're about to go ham and cheese. Oh, y'all want to go ham and cheese. I'm ready for this. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Alyssa, yes, your presence sets the stage for how you want people to receive. You better go there, Alyssa. Linda, yes, I have been. Linda, I don't know what question I might have asked, but be more specific because I, I really, I'm so intrigued. Zaylee, exposure, LinkedIn, one. Cat, yes, I'm always asked to speak for free, mainly for exposure or to support the business. I got it. Zoe, new. Zoe and I had dinner last night. That's my girl. My queen. Zoe. Tina Williams, Professional Water Restoration Services, LLC. BNC Transport Services, LLC. Williams Freight and Logistics, LLC. Upcoming speaker asked to speak for pay and exposure. Love it. LinkedIn user, not yet. I am King Solomon. Hold on. That's Paul. Yes. Uh, Linda, a couple of times it led to more. Okay, Linda, I'm liking that. I'm King Solomon. Not yet. Okay. Carolyn. Wait, hold on. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me go up. Yes to all of that. Sometimes led to paid opportunity. Yes, Carolyn. Glad you're here. Tina, Amika Adams. Hello, Queen. Ah, we love us some Amika. LinkedIn user. I need this. Yes. LinkedIn user. Yes. Hands up. No real business. Just other invites to speak for free. And that, so I, so we want it to lead somewhere, right? We want it to lead somewhere. So even if you don't have a business, there might be something you might want to, you know, sell anyway, right? Because you're trying to raise money for your business. So that's why speaking is so great. LinkedIn user. Hey, queen. Hi, queen. Tina Williams. Okay. Solomon, great points. Okay, hold on. Solomon Savoy. Okay. I spoke to the right audience for free a couple of times and I'm open to more. Got it. I'm King Solomon. Yeah. Yes, Farah, is the next boot camp in person or online? These I'm doing it virtually, Queen, on March 19th. And then our next one is April 2nd. And then our next one after that, I think is May 7th. I, I probably can't remember the last date, but March 9th is, is virtual. And so I only take 20 people into my boot camp because I need yeah, you need one-on-one -on -one time with me. You need collective of the group and I don't need to teach hundred people at a time. I already do that for companies, corporations, nonprofits and foundations, but I know that there are people who need this. And so it's going to be recorded and everything. And I just want you to come with questions. I want you to come like, come ready. Okay. Farah, <laughs> in there like swimwear, you know how we do it. Cat, 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 leadership ability. Yes. 27 years of experience is super fantastic. You better believe it. There got my girl, Mika. She's a teacher how to pat on the buddy. What? Pat on the buddy. I love it, Mika. Mary F. Jones, holistic hair consultation. I know that's right. Glad you're here, Mary. Zay Lee, independent filmmaking and screenwriter. I know that's right. I, can, I am known for personal leadership thoughts. Okay. And then we have Tina. I'm known for having fire, passionate energy. Boom. Okay. Farah makes sense. Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. Check. LinkedIn user, this makes sense. Oh, okay. I'm no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that? Okay. Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. I write bios for entrepreneurs, creatives, and entrepreneur exemplars. W2 1099. I like to get in front of more people. I can serve with strategy, clarity, and organization around their brand message. Say that again, girl. That was clear to me. Arletta, I need this. I'm struggling to get back to my platform. Yes, Arletta, come through. Glad you're here. Miracle Elijah, I'm known for integrity and loyalty. Great. Okay, now, when I ask that question, what are you known for? I meant in the speaking realm, right? Or what do you want to be known for the speaking realm? Because those sound like interview questions, interview answers, integrity and loyalty. I don't know people who get hired to speak for just integrity and loyalty. What I want you to do is go back and think about in the speaking world, what do you want to be known for? What type of message? Remember, the first question is, is it the right audience? If it's the right audience, do you have the right message? And number three, what are you known for or what do you want to be known for in the speaking realm? Like these, um, this is Amika. I'm here quick. Yeah. Kelly, Charles Kellis. Hey, friends, this is this is all so important for speakers to know. I know that's right. And my queen, Kelly Charles Collins, she is the CEO of Ladies Who Leverage. And so as great as I am, I only hang with greatness. Kelly Charles Collins is an attorney, a 
well-known attorney. She's also a professional speaker and she knows how to speak very, very well. And what I love about Kelly is with the women of Ladies Who Leverage, even if some of us do something similar, we col they collaborate source. So like if I get something, I'll say, to, uh, you know, I could say, hey, I can't really do this. Can, you, can someone here do it? And somebody can pick it up. Or if we need to brainstorm about things. So check out Ladies Who Leverage. Kelly is also teaching others about speaking too. And so Kelly, thank you for showing up for me. I really appreciate that. Make sure that you put your info in the, in the, uh, in the comments so that people come and check out Ladies Who Leverage Queen. Love you. Arletta. I am known for defining the odds and authenticity. Boom, shots fired. Precious, how do you create fear of missing out? I am so operations and technically driven. I lose the fun part sometimes. Any advice on this is greatly appreciated. So, Queen, um, I'm gonna, I'm when I get finished with the the the, the next three, I'm gonna come back to that question. So, put in the chat question. Don't forget about FOMO. Cat said, don't forget about FOMO because yeah, we need to talk about that. Thank you, Cat. Arletta, I'm also a TEDx speaker, women's empowerment, and a transformative leader. You better say that. Okay, so then, Farrah, I I need this boot camp. Need to get more booked and busy, ma'am. I know that's right. A wait, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. It just it just moved really fast. I'm sorry. Alyssa, I'm known for my style and lifting up women. You better believe it. You better believe it, Solomon. I am known for helping women, men and women that have been through narcissist, narcissist abuse in and out of the workplace. Oh, 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 that was a, that you shot fired. Love you. Love you too, queen. Miss Yolanda Brown, copyright Brown. I am known for supporting soulful entrepreneurs with drilling down around clarity strategy and organizing around the written brand messaging. All right, copyright Brown. Tina, yes, surround yourself with like-minded people. I am too a member of the ladies who leverage. Love, love, love. Kelly Charles Kelly. Shots fired. Bah, 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 bah. We only hang with the top. Carolyn Ofer Moselle. I am known for helping leaders have conversations that leave everyone's dignity, integrity, and wellness in place. You see, y'all coming with it. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. I speak on executive presence, leadership, and style coach. Okay, you better believe it. Okay. And as I told you before, Kelly Charles Collins and I are great friends and I so admire her and I'm a former attorney too. So can you imagine two former attorneys who are speakers who are just extraordinary getting together and there's no jealousy. None of that. mm, that's how you know you with the best. Kelly Charles Collins. Yeah, check out ladieswholeverage.com. That's www.ladieswholeverage.com. LinkedIn user Kelly Charles Collins, MBA, unconscious bias expert. I am checking this out. Okay. I love that they said that for Kelly Charles Collins. Okay. So what we're going to do right now. Oh, wait. Tina Williams, love you back. Okay. I love that. So now that we go with the first three, let's talk about <clears throat> another question that is always in the ether. And I need y'all to think about this. Why should a conference organizer, an event planner, or anyone that can book you, can book someone who could to speak. Why should they choose you? Why should they choose you? And remember, it has to be a compelling reason to choose you. So we're talking about paid speaking engagements. We're not talking about free. We're not talking about exposure. We're talking about paid speaking engagements. Why should they choose you? And if your answers sound like what people do in typical interviews, that's why you're not getting chosen. Because it can't sound like everybody else. I am, I am, I am, I'm a people person. I'm a great speaker. I'm a this and that. Because you know they're going to be like, pull up them receipts though. What them receipts say? What them testimonials say? What people talking about? What, what's the tea leaves? What's that hashtag true tea about? Because they're going to want to know. And let me tell you why. So anyway, last year I did my first TED Talk. It was TEDx Butler. And it was reimagining your flaws equal your secret weapon. Can I tell y'all, of all the times I've been asked to do a TED Talk, this was the one that resonated the most. And so when I got out there with my red cape dress, Ralph Lauren cape dress, I remember like I was so nervous, right? But when I started speaking and the audience and the crowd was going with me, I was like, oh. And I booked three paid speaking engagements. Out of it. Now, y'all know TED Talk's supposed to be free, right? But there were people in the audience. In fact, Karen Kahn of I Fund Women booked me to speak, the keynote speaker at the um, 
at the Entrepreneur of the Year 2021 event. She was in the audience, but she was there for someone else. When she saw that I was on the, the program, this is in New Jersey. I live in New York. We, you know, we booked me, booked me. And we've had a relationship for years, but until she saw me literally live do what I did in 12 minutes, it was incredible. I got off that stage and came back. So my friends were in the audience. I was so thankful. So when it got uploaded to TED, I was so proud. So then now that I'm associated with Babson College and everything, now that I'm in the C200 program, I was in a Black Women's Entrepreneurial Leadership Program, the first cohort. Now I'm in the C200, which is a year-long program where they pay you with the grant to be a part of the program. And it's a year-long training program to get you to a million dollars plus in business because that unlocks other doors. Now think about that. My first TED Talk. The next thing I know, uh, TEDx Babson reached out to, you know, all the people who were in all the different programs that were at Babson, and they only chose two of us from all these different programs. And so I put my, you know, I put in my application. I went through the interview and left them speechless, speechless in my, in my interview. The next thing I know, a few days later, they were like, we choose you. And that's on March 26th. So I'm going to be at TEDx Babson. March, March 25th and March 26th. The reason why that is so important, y'all, I've been to Boston more times than I've been ever in my life because of opportunities there. I was just in Boston last, last weekend when my book Heels to Deals came out, you know, and so think about this. People are seeing me in so many different places. And when we did the Heels to Deals, I spoke for like two minutes on stage, the first speaker. When I tell you these people were going crazy when I was speaking, it's because as a speaker, you melt and being able to read a room is important. As a speaker, when a conference organizer, conference organizer and event planner thinks about who to book, yes, they can go with all the big names in the world, but they're still going to need other speakers. So how do you make yourself truly stand out? Why should they choose you? The reason why you see LinkedIn, Google, Microsoft on my thing, the reason why you see the killer pitch master, the reason why you see 13 time national pitch champion, I want people to go and look me up. Because when you look me up, you watch my videos and stuff like that, then you're like, okay, that's a done deal. I don't even need to hear from her. Um, and when people come to me, I send them to my agent now because I can't handle all this coming my way. So I want you all to know if you can't answer that question powerfully, where you leave no room for doubt. You're the only choice that matters. Why should they choose you? Here's another one. What is your speaker strategy for getting booked and busy and paid? What's your speaker strategy? Is it just to say, hey, I'm, I'm speaking. Can my friends help me out or whatever? No. That's not a good enough strategy. You need to have a strategy for how to become booked and busy and paid, and then ultimately booked and blissful. When I started, I didn't have a strategy. But luckily, I was so good at what I did, then I started to develop a strategy. And so it's very important to me that you all have a foundation for what it is you're doing. And that when you're firing on different cylinders, one may work, one or two may work this year, and we change up the game plan for next year. But there needs to be a strategy to how you reach out to people. There needs to be pitching involved. There needs to be a concerted effort between your network, your, your social post, um, the things that you're going to, who you, how you're showing up, all of it matters. So I want you to know that it's not about just what you say when you're on stage. It's about all the prep work before that, because I don't ever want you getting on stage without having... I don't know, one to five speaking engagements paid coming right after that because people love what you see. Yeah, I teach so that you book paid speaking engagements while you're speaking. Yeah, I teach that. I want you to be open to opportunities. And if you are asked to speak for free, what needs to be there? Is it the right audience? Do you have the right message for that audience? Is this an audience known for paying for things? Or is that an entree into another network and leading to more? I 
I'll leave it there. But I definitely want you to think about what I just asked, right? And as you can see below, there's my booked and busy speakers uh, boot camp. I also, you know, if you want to reach out to me, if you ever want to reach out to me, you know, check out my website, www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com. And you can leave a message there or you could ask a message. You could ask for ask a question right now. And as you all know, again, for those of you who may be coming now, I am Precious Williams, the killer pitch master. And I help you what slay all competition. I am a world class master communicator and show you how to kill it with a killer elevator pitch, media pitch, investor pitch, sales pitch, speaker pitch and interview pitch. I am a master at all of them. I have client testimonials in, in all of that. In fact, I'm so proud that. One of one of my queens reached out to me because she wants to um, submit something to a big streaming platform. I created the pitch and she loved it. The team loved it. Do you see how you're, you're brought into media? You're brought, listen, I'm a part of so many people's journeys. And that's why as a speaker, I take this very seriously because the right message to the right audience at the right time, baby, you'll be like NBA young boy never broke again. So I'm going to come and answer some questions right now, and uh, I'll answer, answer some questions, see what's in the comments. And also, I don't know if you all have seen, but don't forget, I'm going to talk about the side hustle 4.0, okay? So let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Arletta, I'm not sure if I read this before. I am high energy, engaging, and here to serve their audience. How can I add value to their event? And so, Arletta, one of the, one of the things is I always say, what is the right message, right? So you know, you you we already know most of y'all were straight dope, but that requires doing a deeper dive into, you know, if you can figure out what the people are talking about, make sure that you add something different, a different flavor to the occasion. We you can be high high energy and engaging, but if all y'all saying the same thing, that gets boring over time. So throw a curveball in there, right? It's kind of like what I say about pitching. You know, I'm a bad bitch with a power pitch. Don't you want to be clutching pearls? Like, I like I like when cl people clutch pearls. I want you to have a physical reaction to me. I want you to hate it or love it. The underdogs on top, and I'm gonna shine, homie, until my heart stops. Envy me. I'm pitches MVP and I ain't going nowhere. So you should get to know me. You know what I'm saying? And that's not cockiness. That's not even arrogance. That's I am convinced of who I am. I'm convinced because I got the testimonials, the receipts and the credibility and everything to stand on. So I would look at what other people are talking about, but I would also throw a curveball in what you're saying. So it doesn't sound like uh, 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 uh. A great speaker that I love is Ramon Ray, right? So I'm highly engaging and funny and I like to act up. I love when Ramon goes through the aisles and he'll ask these questions. His um his uh what do you call it? The his PowerPoint, his um like PowerPoint, I don't want to say it's PowerPoint, but his presentations, the digital part is so on point, right? And he's funny, right? He's really, really funny. And I love that we complement each other so well. So we we've gone behind each other at different events and we've always edified. Find a way to edify the other speakers too. Because sometimes your reputation may precede you and people don't know how to take you. So they'll think that, oh, you think, no, edify them too. Welcome them to the table. Rhonda, good afternoon, gorgeous. Happy Sunday to all. Happy Sunday to you, Queen. Kelly. Amika Adams, awesome. Let me know if you have any questions. Yes, yes, I love it. Okay, so love, love, love this. Thank you for this LinkedIn Live. Let's. Let's to get it confident, bold, authentic, and believing. Yes, LinkedIn user Kelly Charles Collins, unconscious by Cypher. I will send you a message today. Thanks, Queen. I love it. I love it. I love it. I am King Solomon. Thank you for this, beloved. You were amazing. Thank you, Miracle. Thank you, Queen. LinkedIn user, in terms of network, I learned this week that your network is your net worth. It is. So be very careful who comes through that door and also look around at the current people around you. Some people need to go. Some people need to go. And it's not just because of jealousy. It's because some people really are dead weight or want to tell you the same stories. Oh, no, I ain't got time for that, man. I got time for the people who got time for me. But if all I'm going to hear is the same stories, I got to move on because I'm not there with you anymore. I'm just not. 
And as you go up this ladder, you're going to realize why certain people don't have a lot of friends because they learned a very valuable lesson that sometimes your success, people want to impute it to them and want you to do go to everything they have. It's like, dude, I have real business. I don't have a job. So if I have to fly out on a dime, if I have to look, whatever, I'm booked and busy and I have to be gone other places. I like flying out. I like am tracking my way on business class. I like that. I like to get away from New York City. I like to get away from the things that I always see all the time. And so for me, I cannot have my whole schedule with everybody's everything. And I don't take time for me or to walk around and see things I never saw before. There was a time when I was just struggling. And when you're struggling, you can't even see the beauty around you because you're thinking about money, 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 money. And now, you you know, when you get stable, you're like, OK, but I can't have the same dead weight conversations. Right. You have to teach people as you're training them. Right. Uh, Amika Adams. Love. That's why. Uh, Kelly, D. Dixon, D. Dixon, absolutely, and proximity is power. I can tell Kelly, you're responding to people that I can't even see. So go ahead, Queen. Samantha T., I need help with interview pitch. This is helpful. Yes. And also, remember, my website is www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com. And so I, I offer all different types of pitches. I create them, y'all. Y'all not creating them. I create them and we perfect them together. Okay. Okay, then we have, yes, ma'am, Farrah, yes, ma'am, unshakable confidence and shock them. Listen, hashtag shock and all, that's all we can do. Dr. Ashley, Christina Goodwin Low, I love your freedom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's what the great Ty Goodwin always says. When you step into your purpose, another woman can step into hers. Arletta, thank you so much for that incredible insight. Okay, uh, Miss Yolanda Brown, cover up out. What is his name? Ramon Ray, R-A-Y, Ramon Ray. Uh, Miss Yolanda. Okay. Got it. Queen. Um, Kelly Charles Conlon shed the dead weight. Okay. And then we have Miss Yolanda Brown hashtag purging is essential. Right. And so as we, you know, come to a close with what we've been talking about today, I just want to share something else with you. Now, again, being a professional speaker is not easy, but once you get into a rhythm and people recognize you, and you stay, you start getting booked, you stay booked. See, it's not enough to just get booked. You want to remain booked in certain places. And as Kelly, and I will tell you, when the big speaking gigs come, that's where you really, really want to be. But if you have to start with $500 and up, remember, most speakers don't get paid. So take, take, take it. And, and you're learning as you're going. What resonates most with the audience and stuff like that? But at the end of the day, my job is to show you how to get booked and busy and paid. And with each one of these, uh, each one of these boot camps, you're going to see that we start with the foundation and we keep going higher because my job is not to have you on me all day, every day. No, I'm going to teach you how to build it up in yourself, right? I'm going to teach you how to build it up in yourself. So if something happens to all of us, you know how to hit the ground running. Right. And so you're going to learn one on one with me, but you're also going to learn in a small group setting, an intimate setting. So come with your questions because I'm going to come with it. Like what did Drake say? Back to back. Jordan, 96, 97. Back to back. And uh, here's something else I would also want you all to consider. Now, for those of you who, you know, may be working and want a great way to start a side hustle or if your side hustle isn't converting as much as you'd like, I'd like you all to consider the side hustle toolbox. And so the Side Hustle Toolbox has 25 great products. And these are real products. These are not fluff BS. Listen, I have my Pitch and Speak, Pitch and Speak to Grow Rich Masterclass in there. And that's originally $547. Well, you can get this whole toolbox. My friend Danielle Hughes, she has the personality, personality light bundle. You have Elise Braun, who has something on. So you have marketing, sales. You also have the proper messaging. You have things like, what could you do in 20 minutes each day to really explode your side hustle? So it can become what? Your main hustle. It's all being offered for $67. That's one time. One time. Lifetime access, right? So my pitch is speak to grow rich. I think that's about two, two and a half hours. It ain't 10 minutes. And, you know, you pick and choose what you want, but they're all in there. So you can you look at them now. You look at them next year. But I would suggest you you hop on the sixty seven dollar. Uh, it's got ebooks, um, e courses in there. And the reason why all of us came together is because we are all very proud of what we've done. And we put our best sellers in there, not our low sellers, our best sellers. 
so that you can experience. And do y'all see what that does? When you're being invited to, to do certain things, like from speaking, you can start, people will come to you um, for affiliate stuff. And now you're just earning money, whether you're awake or asleep, because people trust you and they know you're not going to be associated with bull BS. So again, check out the, the Side Hustle Toolbox. My link is right there. As you can see, Killer Pitch Master or whatever. So just, you know, if I need to put the link in the thing, just let me know. But I really would love for you all to check it out because, I mean, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, let me see what let me see what my peoples are saying. And let me know if, if, if there's any links that you're missing. Let me know. So we have the Book and Busy Speakers Boot Camp. We have the Side Hustle Toolbox. Let me know. Okay. So let me go and see what my peeps is saying. Okay. Zaylee, when you step into your purpose, another woman can step into her so deep. Yes, that's a great tie. Good one. That's my business coach. Okay. So we have Tina. Thanks a million for sharing a small fraction of your knowledge with us all. Yes, queen. LinkedIn user. Zaylee M. Fate. She. Yes. Okay. I got it. This is Amika. I filled out the application on Ladies Who Love You. You better go, Amika. Tell you. Tell you. Kelly, got to run. Love you. Just keep being badass all day. All right. Yolanda, share links. You're the epitome of inspiration. Great. So I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to put the booked and busy speakers link. Does anybody have any other questions? I think I've had you almost an hour now. So I'm going to put the link for booked and busy speakers in the, hold on, in the comments. Hold on. I'm going to put that in the comments. Booked and busy, wait, busy speakers boot camp link. Putting it right here. Uh, let's see. Let me see if it goes in. And then also I'm going to put in the, hold on, let me just do it. Oh, shoot. What just happened? Okay. What, what just happened? Hold on, y'all. Since my computer does this weird thing. Wait, no. I swear, y'all, something just happened with my computer. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me go here. I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, okay. You know what I'm going to do, y'all? I'm going to exit it because I have no idea what just happened. All right, so I just give you one second i just just need to really don't know what just happened all right cool so anyway i'm going to give you the side hustle tool to the side hustle tool link. and you all know i'm gonna put that in the comments does anybody have any questions please drop that please drop that t on the sister i'm just getting the i'm just getting the link just give me a second my computer just did something weird so y'all know how we do y'all know how we do so let me go here and get this link. And then anybody have any questions? I'm not sure if our queen um, cat is still on here. I wanted to make sure I answered her question, but I totally, hold on. Okay. So side hustle, uh, wait, side, wait. Side hustle tool kit. Just give it a second, y'all. Okay, so I'm putting that right here. That's why I said, Zaylee, the devil's a liar. Computer work in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay, so, okay, so I put, okay, Kat said the side hustle toolbox. So I just did that. Uh, Miss Yolanda, copyright Brown. Thank you, Miss Williams. You know I'm precious to you, Queen. Come on now. Zay Lee, side hustle link. Yes. Alyssa, thank you for this. Thank you. Zay Lee, the devil's a liar. You know, Queen, I lead it all that. You know I needed that. Side hustle toolkit is right there. Go to that link. Uh, Kat, I am. Linda, thank, thanks for all you do and sharing. Thank you. So, Kat, um, I, I forgot what your question was. So, let me just go up and see. Hold on, Kat. So, you know, let's see, Kat. Kat, yours was about Kat. Cat, yours was about fear of missing out, right, Queen? Queen, I even missed this statement. I don't even remember seeing this. Hello, I'm glad to be here. I'm known for being the first woman in... Wait, black, wait, wait. That's not Cat. Is that Cat? 
Oh, that's Dr. Okay. Okay. Dr. Ashley, I totally missed it. I'm glad to be here. I'm known for being the first woman and black woman in the world to earn a PhD in my field. I'm best known for my creative and innovative thought leadership that helps drive diverse change. Oh, you better get, you better, you better slay. So let me see if I can find it. If not, I'll just come back down and see if I can answer you, if I can find it, Queen Cat. All right, Queen, I'm going to come down here. Let me see if I can find it. New comments. Okay. All right. How do you create fear of missing out? Okay, so Facebook, you're thanks, Queen. Um, so how do you create fear of missing out? And I know that's a that's a that's a touchy subject and a delicate subject. So one of the things that I think that you can do is use social proof in your lives, uh, in in your uh, postings and stuff like that. And also, I love to create individual videos for people that I really want to get to, right? If I really want them to take advantage of something, I create individual bombbomb.com videos. And, um, and you know, I share with them. And I also ask them to share it with others because if they know me, they know what time it is. The thing is, everything I put out, everybody doesn't always have to buy. There's always new people who will come. There's some old people who will come. The thing is to keep it moving. So, like, I had a queen last yesterday. One of my queens was C200. She reached out because she does things about golf. And she asked me to go over her... Um, her pitch with her. So she was giving her standard and I told her, ah, we shaking this up a notch. Right. And so we were talking, I said, you got to start off with these type of questions. And we go, we went through that. I, I said, your meat and potatoes is fire. I said, but the way you end, cause you got to see throughout the process. I said, but at the end, girl spring and summer happening. If they don't need to, they need to learn how to golf now. Right. And she, well, she was telling me things about she's telling me things about, listen, it's not just about doing deals on the golf course. It's a five hour it's a five hour intimate setting. It really is five hours. What can you learn about somebody in five hours? You can learn if they husband material, who takes risk, who doesn't, likes and dislikes. You find out a lot on the golf course that eventually leads to deals or opportunities and maybe even marriage. I said, but if you never, if all we ever keep saying about golf is, oh, deals are done. Well, if I don't like the people I'm around, you tell me five hours. F that. I'm not going to be with somebody I don't like for five hours. But remember, we're entrepreneurs. So none of us are forced into this. I said, so once you start bringing up, like, what, what do you think about when you hear golf? And people say, oh, people who don't look anything like me, whatever, whatever. Oh, it's boring. It's old. Funny. It's, it's, I said, you got to jazz it up. You got to give them a reason to, to want. Oh. And she told me something that was so powerful. She said, nobody man's minds bad golfers. They are, they get ticked off with people who don't even know the rules of golf. You can be a bad golfer, but if you know the rules, it's still fun. I said, but if people don't know that there's rules to this, they would just waste time. And then deals that could have happened don't because they didn't take time to be prepared. Right. And so the fear of missing out, I said, and girl, you got spring and summer coming up. I said, you, you play golf all over the world in, in Abu Dhabi, all these great places. I said, I'm like you. I want to be like Visa everywhere you going to be. So I can learn because I know the people that you're around. When you're playing golf, that's exclusive already. So if you want to be an exclusive clientele, if you want to be around exclusive people, you got to learn golf. And a lot of times it's not the same people you think it is. It's more diverse now. And people are having these, these tournaments. And stuff. I said, so you got to pizzazz it up. And it's not just golf to be golfing, man. I want to just golf to golf. I want to golf. People are drinking wines. So anyway, what I'm saying to you is, Kat, find some of the things that people don't necessarily think about what it is that you're doing, right? So when I think about the finance accelerator, you're just like, okay, well, but there were so many great things that I learned. There were so many great things, like to have your own library so that you always have this um, database of your most, your, your the questions that you get asked the most, you already plugged that in, you're good, right? But not only that, you can keep coming back and getting coaching on certain things. So like not every grant is the same. Not every opportunity is the same. What's the best way to approach it? Because with the financial accelerator, man, I was winning. And then there were even more opportunities to get out there to be paid to speak. I mean, there was one thing I applied for. Not only did they not take me as a participant, they hired me to teach, to be the pitch coach. How many people can say that in life? Y'all ain't want me in the program because you thought I was advanced. And then you turned around and, and hired me to be the pitch coach. Stop playing with me. That's what I'm talking about. The booked and busy link. Okay. Okay. And then link to use. Thank you so much for putting that out there. Again, I've held you all for more than an hour now. I know that, that that's a long time. So thank you all for, for, for coming back to another exciting edition of the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster Show. 
Today's episode was on getting paid to speak. Is it really that hard? Well, it's hard if you don't know certain things. So I marry old school with new school, but I also want to prepare you for the foundation. So as we go deeper and deeper into the speaking industry, because people don't tell you how to get deeper and deeper into this game to where you're speaking at all different types of places. But again, I want to get you so good in a particular industry or two, uh, particular spaces or two, because people will start coming when they see you have that success and they speak in your name and spaces you didn't even know. So I teach you how to pitch for profit as a speaker. I teach you how to get media attention that's earned media and not advertorials. Did you hear what I said? They come into you. I, I didn't pay for the Wall Street Journal. I didn't pay for Forbes magazine. I didn't pay for none of this. I didn't pay for Shark Tank. I didn't pay for none of this. So you need to be with an expert who knows their craft and won't have you with the same type of people all day. I can't be around the same people all day long. I cannot. I can't speak on the same stages all the time. I cannot. Because newer people need to hear what you're saying. And so, again, it's been a pleasure speaking to you all. If there's someone you know that needs to hear this particular message, please type their name in the comments and tell them why. I'm back here next Sunday for the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show. As you know, our show is about pitching, speaking, communication skills with no fluff and no BS. Please check out my Book Them Busy Speakers boot camp. It's happening this Saturday from 12 to 3, maybe even go to 4 o'clock. It will be recorded in case you something happens and you can't show up. It will be recorded. And also remember, once you're in the network, utilize the network. Don't be just taking courses and don't utilize them to your advantage. I show you how. So again, my name is Precious Williams. And right before I go, let me just say this. I see we have more comments. Okay. Zaylee, what a great hour. Thank you. No, thank you. And if you all will share these with others, thank you. Kat, thank you so much, Precious. I took a lot of great notes from this talk. All the best to you in the audience. Let's go get that money. Money. Carolyn, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Thank you all so very much. Again, if there's someone you know that needs to be here, let that be known. Again, check out the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp happening this Saturday. Again, check out the Side Hustle the side hustle Toolkit. If you need more help with marketing and sales, my Pitch and Speaking Grow Rich Masterclass is in there, right? So it's not the Boot Camp, but it's, it's Pitch and Speak to Grow Rich Masterclass. And so I think it's about two, two and a half hours. But other people have things in there from ebooks to what can you do 20 minutes a day, how to make sure your personality shines in your messaging, whether it's on social media, in people's DMs, inboxes, and stuff like that. So there's just a few, but there are 25 great products in there. It's all for $67 and it ends tomorrow. So get it today if you can. Or you can wait till tomorrow, but share it with your network. Kat, if you could share this or whatever, you all know that I come correct. Thank you all for another exciting edition and coming back for another exciting edition to keep it real with the Killer Pitchmaster Show. My name is Precious Williams, proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. My website is below www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com. If you go to this website, you can see my one-on-one -on -one, uh, training. You can see my speaker training options. You can see my group training options. You can see this, the my calendar of events where I'm speaking at. This month is jam-packed. I will be speaking... I will I will be speaking at the More for More conference. I will be speaking at TEDx Babson. I have the Booked and Busy Speakers Boot Camp, and we're still going. I'm speaking at a, a at a golf course on March 24th. Like I just have a lot on my plate, and I love what I do because I get paid to do what I do best, which is pitch and speak. And I show y'all how to slay all competition. Check it out. See y'all later. Mwah. Bye. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I hate when I do this. And I, I see seven comments. I, I always like to acknowledge my apologies, everybody. Okay, Zay Lee. God bless you. God bless you too, Queen. Dr. Sansa Curtis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Farah. Thank you. Solomon. Thank you for all the nuggets. Thank you. Zay Lee. I didn't see the link for the side hustle link. Uh, I don't see the. Okay. Kat just shared it and I'll share it again too. Uh, please post the side hustle link. Here's the side hustle link. If you didn't see cat side hustle tool kit 4.0. I'm about to put it here, y'all. Hope it posts. So that's the side hustle toolkit. Go to my specific link and get yours today. Again, booked and busy speakers boot camp, side hustle toolkit. See you all. Mwah. Love you. Bye.